there is a fucking huge shift coming and everybody wants in on the motherfucker so <clears throat> there's so much distractions right now but it's all good so these two blank pieces of paper fell off the table and I'm feeling like two people are getting like a fresh clean slate there's a lot of shit going on there's a lot of shit going on out here but I feel like <clears throat> there there was something that happened prior to COVID and I feel like I really can't even talk about it right now and that sucks man but I feel like that's what this was it's like somebody couldn't there was nothing somebody could do there was no moves that they could make it's like their hands were tied something there was something that happened but the divines intervened and somehow they brought the both of you in the same room together. But there was barely any words exchanged. And it could have been because somebody was stuck in a karmic relationship. And I feel like this Mercury retrograde is bringing this person back. Yeah, look at that. The lovers. That's the lovers card. That Gemini energy of choice between <clears throat> two. Wow, and it says communication. <clears throat> lack, lack of communication. And it's like this person is really chatty. You could be really chatty. But you guys just never had the opportunity to... but there is definitely something from whatever situation that you're in that allowed you to gain something that you were missing <sighs> the silence is just horrible Aquarius, Jupiter energy. So we already got <clears throat> Gemini and Sagittarius here, Mercury and Jupiter. Mercury and Jupiter could have been doing something prior to COVID, which caused someone's hands to be tied because they are going through this personal expansion, this spiritual journey trying to find themselves or just close out some sort of cycle some sort of lesson had to be learned here showtime you know it's showtime but I feel like are intervening again <sighs> okay I had to pause it and I kind of forgot where we left off or what I was even saying but I'm seeing the sun shining, so I'm seeing enlightenment. I'm feeling like somebody's coming out, coming out from hiding, coming out of a dark space, coming out of feeling like their vision is clouded, their memory of something is clouded. I'm even seeing. 
But as we see here, it's saying to smile more, especially when you're around water, especially when you're drinking water, when you're in your shower, in your bath, make sure you're, you know, just thinking of the things you want to manifest in your life versus what you don't want. But I do feel the energy of like discouragement. I don't know if this is somebody feeling, no, 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 I do know. I was gonna say career, but I just feel like it's relationship wise. And Okay, I had to pause it again. So there was a lot of, I feel like on and offs, hot and cold feelings, feelings like one minute you're okay where things are at, next minute you're not. It's like a lot of delays as well. I'm hearing a lot of false starts, a lot of... feeling like you're ready but you're not some shit like that but so earlier tapa and back then flew off the table but tapa went up in reverse so i'm because back then for me is back then they didn't want me type shit mike jones but what the fuck is that so it's basically that's not even the vibe of this. They always did. There was just some sort of karmic lesson that they were still having to learn. Oh wow, okay, so that just, ooh, shit. Wow. So B and the Leo Leo card flew off the table. So that could have been the karmic lesson that they had to learn. Something that they had to let go of. I'm hearing letting go of being the bee, being the pollinator that has to go from flower to flower. But I'm also seeing oh, what was off the table, this could be their pride, their ego getting in the way. So that's off the table. And they're ready for this connection. But I feel like it's the divines intervening because someone's taking too long to make that decision. It's like something happened prior to COVID. And then because someone failed to recognize it, say something, make a move, it's like COVID happened and it made time it made time stand still for a purpose i feel like because there's a lot of people that needed to get up close and personal to see what needs to be shed in their life shedding that snake skin shedding that dead weight right a lot of people ended up getting stuck in the household more really getting in touch with their person and i feel like somebody was feeling the vibes of Is it this? And I feel like somebody ended up finding out someone was a snake. Someone didn't have the purest intentions in mind. Somebody just wanted to keep someone wrapped up. I'm hearing, I'm hearing they wanted the world to revolve around them. They wanted you all to themselves. Ooh. 
rewire brain heaven on earth yes so somebody has to rewire their brain to creating heaven on earth because i feel like somebody could have felt like they were living in hell and their mind ended up readjusting to that to that vibration that frequency so becoming more grounded pulling the heavens down grounding yourself in it right your higher self bringing that down fearless being fearless there's doors opening but in order for you to push it open or pull it open pulling the heavens down you have to be brave and courageous to do this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. pulling it down that's that vibe right there anchoring self in a new reality that's what you're pulling it down you're anchoring yourself you're cutting cords okay yeah because somebody was anchored somebody else had their anchor attached to your ship which was causing you to not move so you're anchoring yourself in where you want to be and who you want to be and cutting the cords of anybody else that had a hold on you. So the cords that you're cutting, it could have been some sort of abuse that you went through in the past. Releasing that once and for all. And even if you're in, you know, an abusive relationship right now. Releasing it, making sure you're not attached to it. Ancestral trauma. See, this could be even something that you didn't go through but somebody could just be feeling down, not knowing why. And this could be tied to some sort of ancestral trauma, some sort of pattern, some sort of belief. <sighs> there could have been a lot of abuse in somebody. Wow, look at that, the Leo. Leo coming out again. And that was the energy that was off the table. Could be somebody around you still that feels like the world revolves around them and making sure you don't feel that right you getting out warming your aura getting back out in the sun tapping into your creativity finding your strength ascended master yes tapping into your ascended master energy angel numbers somebody's been seeing a lot of angel numbers i know i saw like one after another today it was just like back to back crazy crazy energy angel numbers everywhere coming through you're bringing your awareness more to the divinity in life because you're seeing it in self more all right let's tap into the tarot let's clear this up clear the air Got that fresh, clean slate for these two that's coming together. Yes, heaven on earth, it's coming. Because something's going. Wow, look at that. Oh, it's coming because something's going. Look at that, the devil in reverse, no longer being restricted. Let me fix this. 
That is so interesting because it's all upright, but the devil is in reverse. Beautiful energy. Free to love. not my dog that's the neighbor's dog oh my gosh i wanted to see what was going to happen whether the devil was going to stay at the bottom or the wheel of fortune it was the wheel of fortune Something's definitely being closed out. The closing of a cycle. And somebody's looking back at their past, looking back at how things went. But they're going to continue to move forward. Moving forward in this healing. Empress energy. We got three, three. <sighs> Things coming towards you. The Empress attracts everything. This also gives me the vibes of the retrograde, the Venus retrograde. It's like somebody's having a change of heart where they're at, where they were at, and they're moving forward towards something new. Wow, see, look at that, the tower here, a breakup, a quick change, look at that, the double energy, yeah, definitely had some sort of chains attached, somebody was anchored to your ship. I feel like as soon as something either fell apart already or s started to fall apart, someone started to notice more of the beautiful things in life, which allowed them to hear. Hear the divines guiding them. And look at that, the divines guiding them. Hear the divines letting them know that where they are, where they were, isn't where it's at. Even if it's a certain mindset, right? Feeling as if somebody is living in hell, creating more of a heavenly practice, I'm hearing. Not rushing into things, allowing things to grow, I'm seeing, with this newness coming in. And I'm also hearing not being so quick to rush back to the past either. To try and expose something or get the last say in things. I feel like somebody still wants to give someone from their past a piece of their mind, but somebody really has to just detach from it. Honor it. Support your feelings in this. Also be supportive to how the other person is feeling. But being emotionally closed off, thinking really logically... Head over heart, I'm seeing, in this matter. Because a two of cups is coming. As soon as somebody reconciles with their past, I've been feeling that energy heavy. 
like whether someone's still stuck in a situation or there's there's energy of it still lingering even if it's just within your stories the stories you tell others the stories that you tell yourself your inner dialogue see look at that that attachments that obsession over the past over people in your past that are dead to you fully releasing that because there's a divine connection here and that's right over that two of cups surrendering to it somebody really has to get near water drink more water i feel like a lot of you have been purging and we need water and we need rest it's like i'm seeing someone that you know if someone gets physically hurt and they're like bedridden for a few weeks and then they have to go to physical therapy and all that you know and they have to make sure they're watching their diet they're getting enough rest and i'm seeing this as like spiritual therapy really taking care of self in this time somebody may be detoxing breaking free from restrictions yeah i'm seeing like even when you're doing it in a spiritual sense detoxing and breaking free from addictions it's like somebody needs water playfulness being out in nature more the fool look at that see being out in nature more playfulness that's gonna bring somebody fresh hope in the knowing that it's coming it's here it's there it's in you because you have to see it within self first and then you start to see it in your surroundings the two of cups is there that connection is definitely there but i also feel like this is a reconnection with self the readjusting of the crown look at that god of cups the connections there already that's why and somebody's gonna get to actually enjoy it this time I'm seeing vacation energy. Somebody's going to be going on a vacation. Somebody's taking a trip. Yeah, look at that. Somebody's taking a trip. Somebody's deciding whether or not... Somebody's going to be deciding whether or not they should go. But I feel like somebody's definitely being called to just continue to do these inner works. Or I'm seeing this is let your instincts guide you in this one. Whether or not it's a... Look at that the world travel seems like it's a good idea yeah look at that a new opportunity this could be um travel plans within career something involving money something involving business a business offer Mm-hmm. That business offer, whatever this is, it's the divine's guiding you there. I'm seeing the two of swords. Oh yeah. The divine's guiding you there. But I feel like somebody is closed off to it somebody would feel like they're closed off to it they they're not wanting to make a choice or not going to want to because i'm feeling this in like future energy so not being dishonest with what you want not trying to deceive yourself not selling yourself short i'm hearing even i'm hearing this is what you asked for this is what you prayed for what you wished for yeah so don't get stuck in the worry Like somebody has an offering coming, but don't leave yourself out in the cold. All right, this is going to be an energy that's going to be something very generous. I'm even seeing possibly you making that generous offering. Making sure... You're able to give what you're receiving. Wow, 
while walking away both moving past things yeah I'm seeing this moving past that energy of being dishonest with self and what you want walking away from those emotions walking away from attaching yourself to feeling like something's too good to be true the supreme yeah because that knocks you out of your energy that throws somebody off balance when they say it's too good to be true i'm hearing the divine say how is it too good to be true and you're the one who fucking manifested this why are you trying to weigh things out why are you trying to juggle things now like it's a circus i'm hearing the divine saying stop fucking playing too good to be true aren't you a master manifester how the fuck is it too good to be th true look at that i'm seeing three of pentacles here Three of Pentacles there. Reciprocity. Equal give and take. This is a collaboration as well. We've been feeling that vibes of the soul tribe and divine counterparts coming together. Look at that. New love offers. Release the fucking past though. Move past it. Turn around. Yeah, I'm hearing the flood. I'm hearing that flood warning. Turn around, don't drown. Don't drown yourself in the past. Don't drown yourself in these emotions. Rise above the chaos, the drama, whatever past shut because new things are coming. Yeah, yes, yes. Allow whatever you went to, went to, okay, whatever you went to and whatever you went through to give you that clarity that you need. That final straw mm. traveler move in a new direction move past ancestral patterns move move two moves So that could be where that travel energy is as well, is moving past some sort of ancestral pattern. I'm being called to read that, so I'll do that and we'll end this. <sighs> Star ancestors, follow the voice of your soul. Move beyond the limitations that have been set for you by family members, past and present. Know that the energy of spirit is more powerful than genetics and behavioral patterns. The aboriginal people are the most oldest tribal people still living on this planet. Their hunter-gatherer culture and ancient spirituality are rooted in tradition and balance with the earth. So the aboriginal ancestors are offering you not only the wisdom that will help you heal and adapt to the ever-changing planet, but also an understanding of what spiritual life should be. The elder is the ancestor who comes with a message of healing change. He is an embodied soul, yet he's had journeys that go beyond the physical. Therefore, he represents the recl reclamation of power. Yes. Did I say that or was I thinking of that the whole time I was reading? The readjustment of your crown. Reclaiming your fucking power. And that's what this is. Like, even if somebody may not be stuck, it could just be lingering energies within the ancestral trauma, right? That's not mine. That does not belong to me. I call back all the parts of me that I left behind, that I forgot, that I separated myself from in every past life, in every relationship, every connection. I call back all the parts of me and I leave the rest behind. When he appears, it's, a, it's an acknowledgement that you have the capacity to move beyond the limitations that have been placed upon you. If you have had the expectations of success, failure, sadness, or even sickness placed upon you by your family, it's important to know that you're here to create your own story. This card represents personal healing that will bring healing to your family lineage, past, present, and future. 
know that you get to decide what you take on and also know that your ancestors are rooting for you and are sorry for any setbacks they have created for you. That's page... Thirty-five, which is number eight. So I'm seeing seven and eight, the chariot. Moving towards the strength card. So moving towards your strength. Moving, leaning in to be more brave, courageous, taking care of self, that self-care, getting, you know, enough rest, healthy foods, water. Moving towards unconditionally loving self and everyone around you, past, present, future. <sighs> and we're done. All right? Let's get one last one from the creativity. Wish granted. That's why I wanted to show you that. Oh my gosh. Butterflies. Could be seeing a lot of butterflies, a lot of rainbows. I'm seeing use purple. Using purple, using using more colors, period. But I'm really drawn to the purple. Oh my god, yeah. Believe in your abilities as a magic maker to manifest your wishes. They will soon be a reality. That's what you have to remain rooted in. I'm being called to read the Wheel of Fortune now because we got that 10 energy. We got that Wheel of Fortune when we first started that the... Your luck. Your alignment outweighs your restrictions. It's not really the word, but I don't know. You figure that out. <sighs> the Wheel of Fortune can indicate a very... I'm not going to read the whole thing. A very lucky time in your life. If you have recently been having a hard time, better times and good luck is on its way to you. Be open to receiving it. This card can also be seen as a card of karma, meaning what goes around comes around. So if you've, if you've been putting out good, good is coming for you. I feel like there's one more card. I'm being called to ask. What this person in this new connection wants to say to you. Wow, okay. A goon, that's like the mover of obstacles. 